Jay, you just bet. James grumbled that he had too much shunting to do. How could I be expected to see to everything? He would grunt. Here, there and everywhere. I shall wear my wheels out. And what will the fat controller do then? Henry and Gordon took no notice. They knew James and they'd heard it all before. Mm, it's easy enough to bustle about looking busy, said Gordon. But it's the real work you do that actually counts, put in Henry. Rubbish! snorted James and bashed some trucks angrily. One day Edward was at the shed. While he was there a message came through. A train of trucks loaded with stone blocks was waiting at his station. He was to fetch it and bring the trucks to the harbour for loading onto the ships. James looked envious. I wish it was me. Edward felt sorry for him. Why don't you go and collect the trucks then? He suggested. I'll stay here at the yard and shunt. It'll be a nice change for you. Their drivers agreed and James puffed proudly away. This is nice, this is nice, he chirped happily to himself as he sped along the rails. But he didn't stay cheerful for long. The dirty, rude trucks are always on the lookout for an engine they can be spiteful to. They had heard about James. And when they saw him backing towards them, they jeered loudly. Look, it's Bootlace James! They cried loudly to each other. Now we'll have some fun. A Bootlace won't help him today. They sniggered to each other and made a naughty plan to spite James. The stone was heavy, and the load was bad enough without the trucks making it worse, but they didn't care about that. They tried all sorts of tricks. They slid their brakes on so that James had a difficult time starting. Come on, you lot! He strained as he pulled out of the yard. Then they crept close behind each other and would stop one by one so that a string of jerks ran right along the length of the train. They'll break a couple in if they're not careful, said James crossly. Determined not to be beaten, James struggled on and slowly he dragged the trucks into the harbour yard. And pushed them onto the wharf ready to be unloaded. Then he steamed wearily back to the yard for some quiet shunting. Gordon couldn't help but laugh when he saw how exhausted James looked. Well, 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 he remarked to Henry. Here's James back after doing some proper work. I expect he needs a rest now. James pretended he had.